This film will show how to use the one train staff working method and give some examples of where it might usefully be deployed. The one train staff working method is used when there is to be only one train running at any one time on an entire separate railway or on a self contained section of railway. It does away with the need to have signals or signal boxes, saving much expense, and allows trains to run considerably faster than would be possible in the drive by sight working method. Let us look at two examples to see how this working method can be used in practice. Here is a small narrow gauge railway. It carries wood from this sawmill to this factory. The two ends of the line are only a few kilometers apart, and the entire service can be provided by just one train, in this case hauled by the Festinio Railway double ferry locomotive of 1872. Here it is leaving the engine shed now. Notice on the track just outside the engine shed there is a small cabinet. The train pauses for a moment at this cabinet to collect the staff from within. No driver may run a train upon the line unless he or she is in possession of this stuff. Notice how the train is able to travel at full speed, here 50 kilometers an hour, even though there are no signals on the line. Let us look at the train leaving the engine shed again, this time with the block reservation display enabled. As will be seen, the train reserves the whole of the line as soon as it leaves the engine shed. Any other train is not able to leave the engine shed. This is because the first train has the staff for the line. When the first train comes back to the engine shed, the reservation for the whole of the line is cleared. Another train can now enter the line from the engine shed. Let us now look at a different case, the case of a self-contained section of a larger railway. Here is a small single track branch line of a larger double track railway. Passenger trains from the branch line come from the main line and stop at Torrington Railway Station before continuing up the branch, stopping at Little Dell, and terminating at Cardew Brook. Notice the small section of double track at the beginning of a branch line. This prevents there being any deadlocks if a train is waiting to enter the single line section when another train is already inside it. There are two one train staff cabinets on this short double track section. They must be placed next to one another. Notice also the one way boards. With the block reservation display enabled, let us see what happens when the first train approaches the one train staff section. This is a freight train terminating at Little Dell where it will collect livestock. On this occasion, it reserves the line up to Little Dell and back to the one train staff cabinet on the track on the opposite side of the short double track section. Suppose that, as this train makes its way up this line, another train tries to enter this section from the main line.
as we can see, this train cannot proceed beyond the one train staff cabinet while the other train is in the section. Once the first train passes the one train staff cabinet in the other direction, the second train can now take the staff and begin its journey towards Cardew Brook. These simple cases have demonstrated the correct usages of one train staff working and how it can be set up to operate a complete railway or self-contained section of railway where only one train needs to be running at any one time.